Oh shit! Oh shit! Mr. Chichester, this is the man that I told you about. <laughs> nice. Let us at least sit and talk. Ah, oh, this is cool. I can kind of see where this is going to go. You are a fool. They're going to hang you. No, their case will flounder. They can't. And we can make this happen. You and me. And the best of it. You will never have to testify. What? My ship will sail long before the commission even sits. All you have to do is make believe to this man here. All right? And you can do that, can't you? Right, just buy me time while I get a ship and we can get out of here. That's what it seems like to me, is just buy me time. Your testimony will be with you within the week. Signed. And sealed. Let the good Lord be my witness. I will yell out the truth to the four winds. <laughs> Can us tell my friend Atticus where Helga is? Write your account, he will secure it and keep you safe. Safe. Yep. Safe. When my ship is ready, I will send for you. Please, for God's sake! You don't have a bloody ship! No. Not yet. Not yet. Oh. <laughs> there are soldiers coming. Ouches. <laughs> but surely we should stay. <laughs> <laughs> Who said that? Me. I suggest that you leave very quickly and very, very quietly. Or you can stay for the extreme violence that is coming your way. Your choice. My ladies. Fuck. <laughs> James Keziah Delaney, you are hereby charged with high treason. Ooh. Yeah, they're gonna have a bit of fun with him. <laughs> Fuckers. Motherfuckers. Mm. Hello. I've been looking for you. How much you want to bet he's a witness to um, Winter's murder and James didn't do it? Grace, I spoke to a witness. It wasn't James that killed the girl, it was the company. It was the East India Company. I need to tell... Told you. Told you. It was Percy. Horace was no longer a Christian soul. I only wish I'd killed James too. Wow. Give him a kind death. Protect him from himself. Instead, they've got him. What do you mean? Where is he? They took him to the tower. But no one will be kind enough to feed him arsenic. I can kind of see Bryce killing himself. His Majesty seeks Mad with guilt. I will give you all the information that you request. But in return, I will need a single meeting with Sir Stuart Strange of the East India Company. Here, in a cell, and in private. <laughs> the news of my arrest will already be spreading. Those people that you seek, they will already be fleeing London. <laughs> Perhaps you will catch your Americans before they reach the ports. Yep, you gotta hurry. You're wasting fucking time, dickhead. How long do you think it'll take? Maybe two hours. Well, in that case, Mr. Delaney, Sir Stuart Strange is busy. Oh. 
Ooh. Fucking savage, man. Wow. Sir. What did you say? Mr. Delaney, what did you say? <laughs> Big bold motherfucker. Do you mind? I've got a shot to make. So make it. He doesn't know who he is, does he? <laughs> you should know that I have testimony from a reliable witness. I told you I have nothing to say to you. Someone who will swear on oath that it was you who organized the loading of human cargo onto the Cornwallis bound for Antigua. Your reliable witness is a plotter against the life of the king. No. I have another witness. <laughs> that, you motherfucker. Get him fucked out of his head, yeah? <laughs> <laughs> we have no idea who they are, who they pretend to be. It's been 12 hours. He will break. No, no. he won't. Yep. Mr. Delaney here. Do you have anything to say to me? Do you want to <laughs> <laughs> Oh, he's a tough fucker, man. Give him what he wants. <laughs> no point even asking if it's working yet. My God, look at you. <laughs> well, your plan worked. You in a cell, me on a hook. I'm here. What do you want? I have a use for you. What? Don't end there. Motherfucking! Mm, no! No, no, no. Oh, man. I honestly don't even want to talk right now. I just want to watch the next episode. I literally just want to just end this video and just carry on with the next one. <laughs> oh man. If we've learned anything about this show is James. James is always a couple of steps in front of everybody else. James knew that Winter's mother, can't think of a name, but she would go to the East India Company. Especially like after she tried to shoot James and of course failed. So it's like... Next best thing, fuck you, I'll, I'll go and snitch on you. So James knew that that was going to happen. James knew that they were going to come after him for treason because of everything to do with the gunpowder and everything. I just don't know what his end game is. I think he would be willing to sacrifice himself to get revenge. And maybe that's it. Maybe he's willing to sacrifice himself to get revenge for the burden that he's been carrying all these years. For all, for all of them souls that was lost on that ship. Because he was following orders by banging in those nails. Under the orders of Stuart Strange. So maybe he's willing to sacrifice himself. But then if. If his whole like end game was to just get back at. Sir Stuart Strange. Then what was the whole passion about getting a ship. And creating gunpowder and trading in Nooker Sound. Like, I don't get it. I think he's probably had like multiple 
plans and agendas and if one falls through he'll fall onto another one um like i said he, he he always seems to be like a few steps in front of everybody i don't know i'm i'm just oh i need to see the next episode man <laughs> i'm oh fuck me this is so good i'm sorry man i've i've got to end this video real quick um i need to get in the next episode right now such a good fucking show. I knew it though. I knew that he never killed Winter. He was a setup. That little kid was a witness. Like, I knew it. I knew it. Okay, so that was episode seven. Next week, as you watch this, will be the season finale. Taboo. Fucking love this shit, man. Tom Hardy is just knocked it out of the park, man. Really, really has. Like, me and my friend Steve. Uh, we were talking about it the other day because he loves Tom Hardy. And um, I told him, like, oh, um, have you watched that one movie? Um, is it Lucky? About, like, like, the whole film is him, like, basically in a car driving. And, and he hadn't seen it. And I told him, like, you've got to go see it. Tremendous fucking movie. Um, Tom Hardy is, like, a proper... He's, like, a proper character actor. You know what I mean? He's not somebody who just delivers some dialogue and move on you know what i mean like a lot of a lot of actors you see on tv shows you see them doing interviews on like jimmy kimmel or something they're basically the same person you know what i mean they, they have the same type of mannerisms the same like kind of gestures and stuff they're practically the same character the same person but tom hardy like i think every role that tom hardy's done it's like he becomes that character everything from body language um, his whole kind of demeanor, his accent, he, just the way he looks at, like, like, just everything, he's, he's an actor's actor, you know, he's a proper character actor, perfect kind of example is the movie Legend, you know what I mean, if you've never seen it, go check it out, like, the fact that he plays two characters, right, the two Craze brothers, and they're both different, it's perfect, man, he's so fucking good, but yeah, like, i got to get in the next episode, man. I really, really do. So give this video a thumb up if you like it. Comment down below. Let me know what you think. And subscribe if you haven't already, man. All right? I've been Sifurian. I'll catch you in the next one, man.